Hello, Trinity, and Merry Christmas. Of course, it's not actually Christmas when I am filming this. Yes, the mystery of how we do these videos is revealed. It's actually a couple of days earlier, on the day before Christmas Eve. And yet, even speaking on this day, I'm imagining what it will feel like to get there, to arrive on Christmas Day in the evening, as we are all settling down after whatever the day is bringing for you. I know for my own part that I expect to feel relief. Christmas will almost be over at that point. And in the words of the night prayer from the New Zealand prayer book, what's done has been done, what's not been done has not been done. Let it be. I hope you feel some relief right now about the holiday, about what it was and about what it wasn't and could not be. And I also hope that you feel a rest. Imagine how Mary must have felt that night after giving birth to Jesus. She must have felt spent. She must have felt a little uncertain of the future, but she also had so much to be thankful for. We, like Mary, are spent, uncertain, and grateful. This year, I am so grateful for our Trinity community, which has so, shown so much mutual support and care over the past week, especially as Luke is still recovering from COVID-19. We are giving Luke the space that he needs to rest and recover, and he will join us again when he is ready. In the meantime, I wish you rest too. I wish you rest from the weariness of 2020, whatever that has meant for you. And I wish for all of you that heavenly peace that we sing about in the song Silent Night. May God bless you and keep you. May God warm you and comfort you. May God lead you and guide you into better days. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We will see you on Sunday at our Zoom worship service and reach out anytime. We are in this together.